What's going on, happy people? I'm Robert Arrington. This is Deer Meat for Dinner, and we are in Fort Pierce, fishing with my little brother today, and the mission is to put fish in the box. Now, he's been talking all kinds of smack about what lures he's gonna use and how he's gonna outfish me. Hey, talk is cheap. Let's fish. Hey, good luck today, man. You ready? Yeah. I was born ready, Gabe. We were just running north, and before we got to the spot, we noticed a bunch of pelicans diving. That means there's bait here. My rule of thumb is never pass a good situation to go to something that you're thinking in your head. If you're going somewhere and you see birds diving and bait showering, that means that's a good spot. You ought to try it out because you're liable to learn something. You know, they say that some baits catch fish, some baits catch fishermen. I was in the store and I saw that little shrimp lure and was like, well, I'm caught. Now let's see if I catch any fish on it. Always check your drag. Yep, that one caught me, but it ain't catching fish. Me and Gabe decided this morning we were gonna come up here and go fishing. And whenever you try a new spot like this, there's no guarantees. You just come up, you bring a variety of baits, a variety of lures, and you just set out on a mission. Oh, there he is right here. Ah. Nice, nice trout. Oh yeah. This is a lunker here, y'all. Lunker. Ladies and gentlemen, that's what we call a river tuna. Yes, sir. Big bait, big fish. Right there, y'all. One of the best baits ever made. Good old live shrimp -a Dude, that's a keeper right there, son. That that's going to the hill. Guess what that is? That's lunch. First trout. Oh, that's a nice trout, dude. Catch him. Ooh, that is a lunker trout, bro. Yes, keep that rascal right there. Put him in the core, Dad. Put him in the core. Yeah. You think he was hungry? Holy mackerel, throw him on ice. Ooh, Gaby's got one. So I will tell y'all a big secret to fishing. If you see somebody get a good bite or catch one and you're not, you cast right where they were. That's tip number 101. There you just got it right there. Oh, it's a black drum. Look at that beautiful fish. 
Hey. So we've caught trout, jacks, sheep's head, and a black drum. That's better than a sharp stick in the eye, huh? In today's day and age with social media, everybody wants to go on a forum and ask, hey, where should I fish? But what we're doing today, we just came here and are using all of our previous experiences to say, oh, that looks like a good spot. That looks like a good spot. Oh, let's try this, let's try that. And you just try to connect the dots. Then when you find a good spot, a spot I call a honey hole, that's your spot that you figured out. When, when you ask somebody, hey, where's a good spot? Chances are, they're not gonna give you their honey hole. That's why you gotta get out here, spend time on the water or in the water fishing. And then when you find that spot, that fish becomes so much more special to you. And when your buddies say, hey, where's that spot you've been catching all them fish? You go out there somewhere. Now, let's go find another honey hole. All right, you guys, so we got Jake, just picked him up from school. He is in the third grade. And uh, one of the things we do anytime we're cooking, we look for fresh produce. Well, we just drove by this awesome place and I was like, heck yeah, if we're cooking, we're getting fresh produce. Hello. Where do you go to school? Citrus Grove Elementary School. I believe if you want kids to eat vegetables, make good vegetables. Here we go, y'all. Sea trout and a sheep's head. I'm gonna show you how... What are you doing, Waylon? You ain't no movie star, goofball. Pig comes over here, wants to be a part of the video. Hey, you better be careful. You'll be a part of a catch, clean, and cook yourself. <laughs> That's a little wild pig from the ranch, Waylon. But let's get to cleaning, you guys. So just cut there. Then you take that knife want a good sharp knife. That's my silver stag, bone and filet. The pig sounds like he's getting clean back there. And I know there are some guys on YouTube that can clean a trout in about two seconds. But what I try to do, I try to get as much meat as I possibly can. And that's what you're looking like. Beautiful. Now, I do see one Problemo. Look in there, you guys. See that? That is worms. And now that's the sheep's head. Trout are a much more prestigious game fish, you know, people get all excited about. The question is, do they taste better? I mean, they are prettier. They're a prettier fish. But do they taste better? Is the meat quality better? That is a question I'm trying to answer today. These fish, these sheep said live in and around uh, like bridges, docks, pylons, stuff like that. So their scales are much more durable and rugged than a trout. A trout lives out on the flats in and around sea grasses. So look at that. No worms, no nothing, just beautiful meat. And all you've got to do, take that knife, run it right down the skin, just like that. Comes off pretty, looks like a piece of snapper. Cut out them pin bones and you are ready to go. Trout, the skin is much softer. They have much smaller scales. super white. If you look, that's the, the skin side of the sheep's head, has a little bit of a bloodline. The trout has virtually no bloodline, but right in there, you can see, you can see some worms, you can see some worms in there. And I'm sorry. I ain't got no time for that. All right, y'all, here's a scoop. This is my favorite part of any day of fishing or hunting. Coming home and cooking. See that? Those are the fillets. That's the trout. That's the sheep's head. Take, put them in a pan, put some cool water on them. What this will do, 
You can just sort of rinse them off, shake them off like that. Any of the blood will come out, any of the scales will come off. Drain them off. Oh yeah. Now let's season these bad boys up. We are making crunchy fish tacos. So we want our fish to fit in a taco shell. Let's do that. Now, you know, taco shells like that long, so we'll cut these jokers in pieces about that big. Nice sized pieces that are gonna fit in the taco shell. Everglades fish and chicken, just like that. Season them up, you don't have to go overboard. I don't know if you know this, but me, my older brother Aubrey, and my younger brother Gabe, we all love to cook. And Gabe is a master of disaster in a kitchen. Let's see what he's working on right now. Getting the avocado ready for the tacos. We've got six eggs in there. We're gonna add a little bit of Everglades original, a little bit of teriyaki sauce, about that much, and then some milk, about like that. Take your fork, mix it up. Now you've got seasoned egg wash. This is just the way it happens. This is all the sheep's head. Roll it in some all-purpose flour, just like that. Perfect size. Put it in some egg wash. Roll it in your panko breadcrumbs. Now the key is using panko. Panko breadcrumbs are a Japanese breadcrumb and they hold the crunch and make it perfect. And Gabe's got something going on with the corn on the cob. Let's see what it is. What's up with your corn on the cob? It's just boiling. Old no, bay, you, huh? what, what'd you put in it? Old Bay and salt, sea salt. There you go, man. It smells so good. Now, I know a lot of y'all have gone over and checked out his Instagram. He does a hundred times more on Instagram than I do. I don't know why, I just, I upload like once a day or once every other day on Instagram. Gabe's like does the whole story, he's crazy. He's a single white male who loves to hunt fish and has a beautiful house. I'm just throwing that out there. Y'all so check him out on Instagram. So this is the trout. Four pieces of trout, that's all sheep's head. Perfect. What do you think is going to be better? Sheep's head, for sure. Why do you say that? I don't know. Does it sound good? Okay, so if you know Gabe, whatever he thinks, if he thinks it, he's going with it 100%. Like, whatever his answer is, he's, there's never like, well, maybe this, maybe that. No, it's 100%. Question time. Would you rather cook in like one of those copper pans or a nonstick pan or a cast iron skillet? Leave it in the comments below because that's a serious question. All right, y'all ready for this? Put these tortilla shells in the oven. They browned up perfect. Now, look at that. Nice piece of fish. Set it in there, wrap it around. Put you a couple pieces of cucumber because I love cucumber. Put you a little bit of radish because I love radish. Put you a piece of avocado, about like that. Woo! And then this, I just bought this at that store. It's the coconut sesame dressing. And just a, uh... holy mackerel. Drop a thumbs up if that don't look good. Thank you, dear Lord, for this day. Thank you for dying on my crossroads sins. And thank you for, that, for letting us be able to have all this nice fish, and thank you for everything you did. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen. You know what they say, you teach them to be thankful when they're young, and they grow up to be thankful. I might even say I like the trout better than the sheep's head. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Really Look how snow white that is. But Turn around and eat. Mm. Yeah. Well, we went up there on just a wing and a prayer. Stopped by the tackle shop, picked up some shrimp and some lures. Went out and just fished, used our brains trying to find little areas and caught three fish 
And with those three fish, we still have a full plate of food left over. They weren't even big fish, they were just the average three fish. Yeah, two sheep's head and one sea trout, and we still have a plate full of food left over. What that means is you don't have to keep every single thing you catch to be able to come home and have a really nice meal. But you guys, I sure hope you enjoyed today. I hope you liked the video. This is the life we live, man. Nothing made up here. We're just having a good time making videos, and I hope you enjoyed it. So, for now, take care, God bless, and... We gone. <laughs> that was unrehearsed. <laughs>